As national treasure Noddy Holder once screamed, It's Christmas! And that means only one thing. What? No, <laughs> not spending time with family and being grateful for the things we have in life. It means presents. Lots and lots of excellent presents. Duh, stupid, it's stupid, smelly person. Idiot, idiot, stupid idiot. You idiot. Unfortunately, despite video gaming being a multi-billion dollar industry, people don't really get gamers. And though some of us are lucky enough to have relatives who simply chuck a tenner in a card, many of us are left upending our stockings and finding naught but awful gaming-related gifts year in and year out. Don't get us wrong, we're not trying to be unappreciative, and it is most definitely the thought that counts. But for some of us, with these items, we do wonder what went through the collective minds of our friends friends and relatives when they clicked check out. If you're unsure what to buy for your game-loving pal, colleague or significant other, take note of the entries on this list, then pop online and order them literally anything else. Trust me, now thank you for it. I'm the Holly Jolly Ben from Triple Jump, and here are 10 terrible Christmas gifts for the gamer in your life. Number 10. Gaming-themed toiletries. If you make the choice to gift toiletries, the recipient will always think one of three things. One, you know that I love bath bombs and will actually be thrilled to receive this. Two, you think that my personal hygiene is lacking somewhat. Or three, you couldn't be asked to think of anything better. Sadly, few other members of the community have the same penchant for bubble bath as I, so you're almost always going to land yourself firmly in category two or three. You smelly, you smelly, 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 stupid smelly. There isn't all that much wrong with receiving toiletries in and of itself. In fact, what Christmas would be complete without unwrapping at least one Lynx Africa gift set? Thanks, auntie. You don't know me at all. The problem comes with the purchase of the likes of the Super Mario Body Wash gift box or the Call of Duty Capture the Flag gift set, because who on earth would want to smell like an Italian plumber or, well, based on the name, a flag? I suppose. Not only do these gifts imply somewhat rudely that we probably need to shower more often, they're completely uninspired and usually of poor quality. In fact, I think that's how I got that rash last Boxing Day. Really do need to get that looked at. Number 9. T-shirts with tacky slogans. We gamers love a good t-shirt. In fact, I'd wager that for the majority of us, they make up approximately 90% of our wardrobes. They're cheap. They're comfy, and they give others insight into our interests without ever having to hold a conversation, which is quite honestly the dream. That said, buying clothes for others is a minefield at the best of times. Between purchasing something that they'll actually like and will also fit them, you're just begging for trouble. Then there's the absolute worst kind of letter-shaped garment, the comedy slogan t-shirt. Granted, the odd one is incredibly witty and clever, however, even those have a maximum of three wears before they get old. The worst ones bear such witticisms as, I'm a gamer, not because I don't have a life, but because I choose to have many. I paused my game to be here. And possibly the worst one, I'm a gamer because punching people in real life is frowned upon. Ooh. Golly, aren't we edgy? So before you go ahead and splash the best part of 20 quid on one of these abominations, maybe consider a gift voucher instead, or get them a triple jump shirt at our, uh, at our online shop, link in the description, plug, plug, plug. Number eight, gifts implying we need to get out more. We get it. We spend a lot of time indoors staring mindlessly at screens, and to you, the gift giver, that is most certainly a problem. But before you go dashing out this festive season to purchase us skydiving lessons or a kayaking trip for two, stop and ask yourself this question. Is my good friend Ben Potter actually going to enjoy this, or is he going to feel like I'm attacking how he lives? The answer, my dude, is always going to be the latter. Perhaps more egregious than suggesting we go outside is suggesting we go outside and meet new people as well. Yes, a subscription to Match.com sounds lovely, but the associated implication is that you think the recipient is a sad loser who can't get a girl or boy friend. 
you might be taking some time to focus on yourself. And that's okay. You do you, king or queen. And don't get me started on other self-improvement gifts. We know you think a gym membership is a nice gesture, but all we're hearing is that you think the giftee needs to get off their lazy ass more often and do some exercise. They're not gonna go to the gym. They're staying home and playing on the PS5 or Xbox Series X, so there. Number seven cheap knockoff consoles. We're all acutely aware that Christmas is an incredibly expensive time of year, and when you're on a tight budget, you can be forgiven for looking for cheaper alternatives, be it foregoing the Waitrose mince pies and making your own, or crafting handmade gifts for your nearest and dearest. The one area you probably shouldn't try and cut corners on, however, is the purchasing of games consoles. We understand they're not cheap pieces of kit and only seem to become more expensive with each passing generation, but it really is a case of getting what you pay for. E-commerce sites like Wish peddle a veritable smorgasbord of cheap dupes such as my personal favourite, the GameStation Oini One. These inferior knockoffs generally come with hundreds if not thousands of games pre-installed, which are usually close but not quite right titles like Porkman, Danky Kang, and The Legend of Hilda. Whilst these items are great for a laugh, as well as for featuring in excellent YouTube videos like the time we spent $200 on Wish Gaming Tat, they generally make for highly disappointing gifts. So come Christmas Day, if the economy hasn't been very good to Santa Claus, don't go the Wish route and consider giving them a book on how to live with disappointment instead. Sorry little Timmy. Number 6. A Christmas Tinner Christmas dinner is arguably the best meal of the year. Whether you traditionally tuck into turkey, graze on goose, or partake of a spot of partridge, it's always a glorious feast that cannot and should not be prepared or eaten in a hurry. Above all else, no aspect of it should come out of a tin, unless you're American and your cranberry sauce comes in a can, which <laughs> honestly baffles me, but I digress. We can only conclude then that whoever dreamed up the Christmas tinner was subjected to some kind of emotional trauma as a child. Who hurt you? Come on, you can tell us. This is a safe space. The tinner, marketed as a way to get all of one's crimbo nourishment without having to tear yourself away from your console, first hit the shelves of UK retailer Game in 2013. Astoundingly, despite rather disgustingly jamming scrambled eggs, bacon, mince pies, turkey, potatoes, gravy, bread sauce, cranberry sauce, sprout stuffing, carrots, parsnips, and Christmas pudding into a highly unappetizing layered slab, it's sold out across the country, and Game has resurrected the thing every year since, even going on to create vegetarian and vegan versions. It's patronizing, it looks disgusting, it almost certainly tastes disgusting, and if I ever find find one in my stocking come the yuletide morn, I'm cancelling Christmas. Number 5. Hideous Game-Themed Bedding When you're a grown-up like we are here at Triple Jump, sometimes it's nice to receive functional gifts. In fact, the older I get, the more excited I am by the prospect of Santa leaving a new slow cooker under my tree. Being serious adults, we tend to eschew character-emblazoned soft furnishings in favour of something with a bit more class. Don't get us wrong. As a nine-year-old, there was probably nothing more exciting than donning your Yoshi onesie and getting snug beneath your Minecraft bedspread, but when you're three or four times that age, it's not really socially acceptable. It's for this reason that we must beg our well-meaning relatives to stop gifting us game-themed duvet sets. Worse than anything that's actually licensed are the cheap, generic offerings because nothing screams I'm a proper grown-up and not at all sad and lonely quite like spreading this monstrosity across your king size. Just imagine bringing a lady or fella home after a particularly successful date, swinging open your bedroom door and greeting them with that cross-eyed nutcase. Oh no, please, please don't go. It, it was a gift from Great Auntie Doreen. Number four, a game for the wrong platform. Now this is a tricky one. Clearly the person who gifted it knows you well enough to have bought you something you'll actually like, but it's the awkwardness that ensues upon tearing away the wrapping paper and finding an Xbox Series X version when you're more of a PS5 kind of guy. You end up with a bit of a moral quandary on your hands. You could lie and accept the offering, and then you have to faff around trying to trade it in or take it back to the shop without the receipt. You also then run the major risk of this happening again next Christmas. Alternatively, you can be honest and point out the error, but you then have to live with the look of excitement on your nan's face fading into utter disappointment when she realizes she's gotten it wrong. So, this festive season, if you want to treat us to whatever AAA title we've had our eye on, please, please check which platform platform we have before committing to the purchase. Number 3. Video Game Cookbooks 
I think it's probably quite fair to say that cookery and Christmas go hand in hand like Peach and Mario, and there is absolutely nothing wrong with sticking on a bit of Jamie or Delia while you're wrapping your prezzies or tinseling your tree. But let's face it, for most of us the majority of our culinary expertise begins and ends with Cooking Mama. Not Tiny Peter and I, of course. <laughs> We're really good at cooking. Check out Main Menu for lots of incredible recipe inspirations. But you know, most gamers are pretty… Uh, they're rubbish at it, they're not great. It's for that reason that video game cookbooks make this list. Sure, they're a fun novelty and if you happen to know a gamer who's into a bit of fun in the kitchen then great! But the reality for most recipients of the Elder Scrolls official cookbook is that it'll get a cursory flick through on Christmas Day, then go on to take up shelf space and gather dust. We're also not really sure who has three days spare to steep their own alcoholic water of life, but we certainly don't. We've got brand new video games to play from our friends who know how to navigate an Amazon wish list. I think I'll just stick with this shandy, thank you. Number 2. Gamer Underwear there are several hard and fast rules around gifting underwear, but arguably the most important is that you should never, ever give a present of pants to anyone apart from your significant other. Socks are fine, but boxers, bras and anything else of that ilk should be out of the question. Even if you're buying for that special person in your life, you might want to consider avoiding anything in the novelty area of the spectrum, unless you'd like to spend Christmas night sleeping on the sofa. As much as I love Pac-Man, I don't want him anywhere near my Pac-Kidge, and I literally can't think of anything worse than stripping off in front of a lady and revealing that my buttocks are emblazoned with Fart Night. You get it? Because it's like the game Fortnite, but they've changed the O to an A. Never mind. It's a pretty clever joke. It's fine if it went over your head. But if your heart is still set on giving the gift of an underwear-adjacent item, why not head over to triplejur.mup forward slash shop and pick up one of our delightful swimsuits? Yeah. We got one for James last Christmas and he just loves it. Do wish he would stop wearing it around the office though. Number 1. Joke Presence of Empty Console Boxes This is perhaps the most awful thing you can do to any player of games. It's worse than scratching our discs, more immoral than erasing our save files, and more disappointing than that one BlizzCon where everyone was expecting a Diablo 4 announcement but they got that crap mobile game instead. Is this uh, an out of season April Fool's joke? <laughs> Tricking someone into thinking you've bought them the console they've been dreaming of, only for the box to be empty, or worse, filled with something stupid, like potatoes. If you do decide to pull the old empty or potato-laden PS5 box trick this Christmas, you better back it up with the actual console, plugged into the TV, booted up, and ready to go with a few launch titles pre-installed for good measure, because if you don't, you can almost certainly expect a hissy fit of monstrous proportions. And if you're enough of a flannel to do this as a parent to your small child, you'd better remember how smug you feel right now, because they'll be feeling the exact same way in 50 years when they drop you at a retirement home. Oh, whoops, turns out the retirement home was just a front for a coal mine. Were you expecting something different? Sorry to subvert your expectations. And that's our list. What other awful gifts have you had to endure over the years? Tell us all about them in the comments below. You can follow myself and Triple Jump on Twitter here, and while you're at it, why not support the things you enjoy by having a look at our Patreon. Finally, don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. I'm Ben from Triple Jump, and thanks for watching.